so you don't have internet on your Windows 10 PC. I'm Roland with Help Desk Cafe and I'm here to help. The first thing that we're gonna do is check the most common thing that causes people to lose internet access on their Windows 10 computers. The first thing we're gonna do is check our Wi-Fi switch. And of course, this applies only if you're on a laptop. If you're on a laptop, you'll find a button on your keyboard or as an individual button, which enables or disables your Wi-Fi connectivity. I'll make sure to put a few images on the screen so that you know what you're looking for. It should look like this. Now it may have been switched off accidentally, so make sure to switch it to the correct position. If you're not sure which way is the correct way, make sure to switch it to the opposite side of what it currently is. And if that does a job, you know you fixed it. If not, make sure to switch it back to the original position if it makes matters worse. The next thing that we're gonna do is check the physical connection on our network router. So again, we're gonna check our network cable. If you're on a desktop computer or a laptop that has an ethernet port, make sure that you have an ethernet cable securely connected to the back of your computer. It can sometimes get yanked out when vacuuming or somebody just walking by and accidentally kicks it out of the socket. What I also want you to do is follow that cable to the opposite end and make sure that end is securely connected to your router as well. Now, if you still don't have internet access on your Windows 10 computer, what I want you to do is restart your computer. What this will do is make sure that your computer has a valid address on your home network. Step four is we're gonna disconnect and reconnect our network cables. So make sure once your computer is restarted to disconnect the network cable from both the back of your computer as well as the opposite end connected to your internet router. Now, if you're on a laptop as opposed to a desktop, what you can do is if you're on Wi-Fi originally and that wasn't getting internet, you can connect an ethernet cable from, from your internet router on an available port, assuming you have one, and then connect the other end to an available ethernet port on your laptop if it's equipped with one. This way you can know whether it's an issue with your Wi-Fi or maybe just your router in general, or hopefully not, but maybe your internet service might be down. Okay, step five is we're gonna restart your internet router. In order to do so, I want you to disconnect your router from the wall outlet. And this will completely remove power to your router and allow it to reset. Also, make sure to disconnect it for at least 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, reconnect it to your wall outlet and let it boot back up. And make sure all the lights turn either solid white or solid green, depending on your model of router. Now, after your router is successfully turned on, all the lights are solid and or flashing, which is a good thing, try to visit a website and see if that fixed the issue. Okay, the last step here, what we're gonna do is type in a few commands on your Windows 10 PC to see if we can get a new address on your network and hopefully resolve your internet connectivity issue. So for our last troubleshooting step, I want you to type command prompt into the search bar on your Windows 10 taskbar, and then open up the program called command prompt. Next, I want you to type or copy and paste the command from the uh, video description down below. IP config, that's one word, space forward slash release, and then press enter. After that, Make sure to do the same thing again, but instead of release, I want you to write renew. So IP config, one word, space forward slash renew, and then press enter again. Now, if you follow along on this troubleshooting video, that should have solved your problem. If not, make sure to head over to helpdeskcafe.com for more helpful troubleshooting videos. Thanks for watching.